Hi guys, we're gonna talk about the ligaments of the knee joint today. So, um, the first uh, ligament to talk about is the patellar ligament, which is this entire thing on the front, this long one. And we can actually use this for ACL injuries too. We'll talk about that. So, the first one is patellar ligament, and the one, the ones right next to it, um, this one, and this one. These are known as the retinaculum, retinaculum ligaments. So again, um, this is the middle of the body. This is the lateral view. So uh, this specific um, ligament here is known as the medial patellar retinaculum. And this one is known as the lateral patellar retinaculum. So again, these are the retinaculums. Just to get to see where you're at in the um, terms of the position. Um, the second uh, ligament to talk about is this horizontal one, this one here. And as you can see, it's connected to the femur. It's connecting the patella, the kneecap, to the femur. And this is why this specific ligament here is known as the patello femoral ligament. And once I rotate this structure, you're going to see we have the same exact horizontal line to the left of the um, kneecap. So that's why since we are towards the middle of the body, this specific one is known as the medial patellofemoral ligament. And this structure here, this one is known as the lateral patellofemoral ligament. Um, two other very important structures are the collateral um, ligaments which connect the femur to the leg. So the first one is this structure here and this is known as the medial collateral ligament or tibial collateral ligament. It's mainly known as the medial collateral ligament MCL and also this one. This one is known as the fibular um, collateral ligament or better known as the lateral collateral ligament, which is LCL. Um, so that's the collateral ligament. And there's also this one ligament here, which is known as the anter um, uh, lateral, anterior lateral ligament of the knee joint. And also we got the popliteal ligaments in the back. Um, these are kind of the weird looking ones. So the way I memorize it, it's this one looks like an L. So that's why it's called oblique um, popliteal ligament. And uh, there you go if you want to see it. It's oblique popliteal ligament. And this other one here, um, let me mark it. This one, it looks like an A, upside down A, which is why um, I um, it's known as the arcuate popliteal ligament. Arcuate popliteal ligament. That's, you know, that's honestly the way I memorize them. So that's pretty much it as as far as the surface is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, hide a few of these structures. So we can, you know, talk about the inner ones. Let's get rid of, whoops. Let's get rid of this one too. And this one. Okay, now this entire one that covers the entire region of the knee joint is known as the um, articular capsule of the knee joint and if you remember we have the same structure in the hip uh, joint and you know it just surrounded everything so it's known as the arcuate capsule of the knee joint underneath just like the hip joint we got the synovial membrane of the knee joint which is this one synovial membrane of the knee joint but what I really want to talk about is what's underneath that, which is very important. So we got a few ligaments. I'll get rid of the femur in a few um, seconds. Um, there, there are two meniscus ligaments that we need to talk about. The first one is the medial meniscus um, ligament. And the other one, which is this one here, is the lateral meniscus um, ligament. Super important, very important. And what is right in between those two is the transverse ligament of the knee. Now there's just one final structure to talk about and this one's very important, the ACL which you definitely heard of in sport injuries and 
um other stuff so if you see we got um this very um you know stretched out ligament here this one which is known as the anterior cruciate ligament or better known as the acl you really got to stretch out the knee to you know, get a good look at it and there's if there's anterior then there's of course a posterior which is this one this is known as the posterior cruciate ligament of the knee joint thanks for watching